8-12 on the clock right now, covering the economy for you this Wednesday. One important detail the banks and government left out when they encouraged millions of people to short sell their homes. Short sales were being reported on your credit as foreclosures. Here with everything you need to know is your Fox 29 Common Sense lawyer, Sherry Olofsson. Hi, Sherry. Good morning, Thank John. you for being here. Sure. This is interesting. It yeah. sounds incredible to me that uh, the whole reason so many people did short sales was to avoid uh, the foreclosure process happening on their credit. Right. So how did this happen? Well, here's the thing, John. We were hit with this foreclosure crisis. No one was expecting it. Mm -hmm. And short sales were really not common. A lot of people didn't even, had never even heard the never term heard of a short sale before. Right. So like you said, about 2 million people have been affected. And the problem was that the computer systems and the coding that the credit bureaus and the banks used to keep track of this information just didn't have an entry for short sales. So they used the entry for foreclosures. Mm -hmm. So short sales were being coded as a charge off, just like foreclosures. Right, they took, <laughs> they took the easy route and messed everybody up. Uh, what exactly does it mean if your short sale is coded as a foreclosure in terms of re real world real-time right. repercussions. We've, we've talked a lot about the importance of credit scores. Right. And so every credit event has a different impact on your score. So foreclosures, for example, would have a maximum impact on your credit score of potentially up to 300 points. A short sale maximum impact should only be about half that amount. So obviously, you don't want the extra impact if you can avoid it. We've talked, too, about how those uh, impacts on your credit score can affect how much you have to pay to borrow money, uh, credit cards, loans, how much you pay for insurance, whether you can rent a car, even whether you can get a job. And of course, today, it also impacts how soon you can buy a home again. Mm -hmm. So after a short sale, you can buy a home again after about two years. We've talked about the new FHA loan program, mm -hmm. which allows as quickly as one year. And then with a foreclosure, you may have to wait seven years. So that's a big difference. Boy, that's a huge hit. Big Especially life Especially try to make up yeah. that 300 point hit on your credit score, yeah. if yeah. indeed that happens. So what can folks do then if they're concerned that their uh, short sale has been reported as a foreclosure? Well, the good news is that most agencies and bureaus have internally corrected this now. So moving right. forward, it's is not as much of an issue. November 16th, officially the new software will hit and this should not ever be a problem again. But in the meantime, if you've done a short sale, certainly check your credit report. Mm -hmm. We've talked about how you can pull those for free online. Right. Write letters if you have uh, any errors on your credit report. Right. Uh -huh. And then of course you can file a complaint if you don't get satisfaction with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau at CFP b.gov or always email me at ask the expert at sherry .com. expert indeed thank you sherry sure. good to see you we'll have see you next week. time you have a great week yeah. as well let's go back to the anchor